Yeah, well, here we go. The, oh my god, long episode. Uh, it's almost half an hour. <laughs> yes, here we are at Hori Coliseum. We are finally, finally going to do this. Yes, we're going to... I'm having a hard time getting into this. Hey, talk to you. Hey, old man. Old dude and kids. Yep. That's okay, so he's like, okay, talk to lady, talk to lady again. Okay, uh, here's the thing. Um, we'll see. I you forgot about this rule. I was like, yeah, I don't need to know your stinking rules. I know them. Basically, the whole first round literally consists of all these stupid people doing stupid status conditions on literally everybody. That's what makes the first round probably the hardest round is because everyone has a status condition it's going to give you. So I got a couple items uh, a little while ago, a couple episodes back. Yeah, so I thought I could get me with a Lubeberry. You call it good, but no. Yeah, Lubeberry is very important, so I would give one to your main attacker, which can be in all of them. So here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, I hate this so much. Here we go. We're going in. Yep, walking like a pro. Yep, here we go. See, a lot different from Dillard Coliseums. So, uh, same thing, basically, you pick your three. This guy uses. Mm. Not exactly a wide variety. Yeah. Uh, I think Muck will be my good choice last one. Yeah. But if you notice my type matchups compared to his type matchups, this is literally, I based my team from part one to literally beat this one guy. Because I've never been able to beat this guy. I mean, I've always been over under level, that's the point though, but yes. My team has literally been made to beat this guy. This guy. Yeah. And his status condition, he really likes to put you to sleep, which is probably the most annoying one. Luckily for me, um... Houndoom has a little early board, early bird, not early board. Yeah, about to say my Brooklyn accent, I don't have. And I do say the Brooklyn accent, Brooklyn accent, knees, whatever. Yeah, it starts as Gardevoir, as Parasect. Yeah. This will be random every time, of course. Gardevoir knows Ice Punch. Down goes Salamance. Yeah. That's gonna be a running theme. Was that I'll always start out Salamance, and they'll always know Ice Punch, and they'll always take out Salamance one hit. Sort of like with um, Pokemon Battle Revolution, where everyone knows Ice Beam or Ice Punch. Yeah, to the point where it's even unnecessary. This <laughs> point, there will literally be people with all the Pokemon knowing Ice Beam or Ice Punch, just so that you can't use your Dragon types. Yeah. Okay. Okay, take that wonder guy's one turn he turns out his hound doom. <sighs> and he tries to use hypnosis, Snorlax, of uh, being the very, very agile Pokemon is Dodge's sound. Yeah. And of course Crunch doesn't take out Cardivore in one hand because Cardivore is I'm all special defense and this is before the special you know, the special physical split. And Clown Doom's like, I have crappy defenses, even though you may image beat me. Oh no, I'm paralyzed, meaning I'll be the last one to move next turn. That'll be mildly useful. Hypnosis again, here can put the sleep. But Clown Doom sleep, of course, but luckily he gets early bird. Dogs are really barking in the background. I'm pretty sure my um, sound thing's glitched because it's spiking when I'm talking. I've actually, my mic is farther away from me than it was the last couple episodes where it's been spiking, so... Yeah, probably it's a iMovie glitch and the update I got. Yeah, not that bad. Not bad of a deal. Not too bad of a deal. Eh. Yeah. Oh, come on. I'm not even a sixth away from the episode. I'm already half asleep. <laughs> okay, he sent all slow, bro. Not bad. Not too big of a deal since it's, you know, it's a tank. It's not really doing a lot of damage. I have super effective moves that have no special defense. Now, does Crunch lower special defense or I'm just thinking of Psychic? Which does. Uses Yawn, yeah. He won't be able to last that long to actually use it effectively. 
Oh, yeah, leftovers. Yeah, a lot of these be a lot of their tanks will have leftovers. I would say about every team of six will have at least one Pokemon that has leftovers. And there'll always be a tank. Yeah. Defeated you, yes. I left my my best place for it to fill well. Yep. I, I've managed to beat the first round of Warrior Coliseum. That's literally what it bases the let's play on. Is, is beating that guy. Yeah. Okay, here's the second guy. Her lamb her lamb. Her lamb. For some reason I want to say Batman, but uh, I'm probably thinking of Harley. Yeah. Okay. Then start this uh poor calls you battle too. Spinny spin 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 giant hand Fist bump. No, oh, it's a, no Hurley is a sport is it Hurley or Harley? The Joker's girlfriend side sidekick slash meat puppet. Yeah. Look at him and grow pig. Not Hurley's said company that makes sportswear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they also make really cool flash drives. Uh, it's one of the loud plays. Of course, Grumpig knows her. And I even said with an earthquake, knowing that Salamance will be hit by it, so I'm going to find somebody who will be able to take it, so I'm going to send out Lapras since he. She will be able to take a, or he will, he will be able to take an earthquake. Yeah. Yeah, ouch, man. Sorry, Lapras. Yeah, I'm like, it's not even worth it. Look like how low damage is doing. The decent amount of worm pig, good ligatong, you know. Of course, he uses, um, belly drum. And he knows the hand leftovers, of course. Yes, yeah, so the quick claw pays off right there. He gets to go first. And it doesn't beat Grumpig. Yeah, this guy, he uses confusion. Yeah. He's not as hard as the last guy. The last guy was annoying. He says, of course, he put you to sleep and your guy will stay asleep for all five turns. See, you don't have your items, or you can't. Yeah, you can't call either. And yeah, Jolteon took a hit right there. Yeah, the switch no one likes out because he's confused. And like it even matters because Catherine's gonna use Peter Nance. God, all those dogs are pretty bad. Okay, he's Ice Beam. And do you take out Catcher? No, you don't. Of course. Seriously, what are they barking at? Uh, let's see if we can get a quick attack on Grumpig. Yeah, so with Snorlax out, I'll probably use Teeter Dance again. I mean, why luck? Yeah, of course. <laughs> One Psychic. You can take out Jolteon, are you? Yeah, you're gonna take out Jolteon. Okay, so let's see Simak Lapras out, but of course no one's confused anymore, so telling Cacturn to use Teeter Dance. He uses flipping double team to make it even possible to hit him now. Okay, let's use a body slam on Grump Pig and Ice Beam. Yeah, let's use Brick Break. Yeah. I was thinking Brick Break is um, more accurate than Body Slam. I don't even know what my accuracies are. Yeah, I think Body Slam has like 85 and Brick Break is 95 or something. I just want to make sure I don't miss because I want to get rid of that stupid Grump Pig so much. Yeah. And he's 
stupid teeter dance. <sighs> okay, at least he didn't miss. Okay, Cacturn's down, yay! And here comes his last Pokemon, his Spinda, which also knows Teeter Dance. Ugh. Come on, Snow Mike's pull through, pull through, yay! Yeah, pull through. Knuckle Punch! Yeah, a little off time right there. My nose stopped up randomly. You know, it's, yeah, I guess it's spring. Yeah. Sounder just coming in. I was going to experiment right here because I think it. You know, Heal Bell heals all status conditions. And I'm like, hey, Heal Bell, where do you cure? You know, no cure. Confusion, right? No. Like, you know, it annoys me how confusion is considered a true status condition. Same thing as infatuation. Yeah. Yeah, we use a brick break. Punch. And uh, it didn't take you down. Okay. Yeah, I'm teasing that one, and just hit him in the ice beam. Flail, gonna do a lot of damage because it's a little health. Eh, not really, okay. Fuse, of course, but you pull through. And that ends round two of four. Uh... Okay, next. Well, yeah, yeah, whatever. I know, I defeated him. Oh, about, I'm not even halfway through the episode yet. <laughs> okay, that's the third round. Oh, this is the third round. That wasn't the third round. That was the, that was the second round. This guy, is Stantler Token, Zatu, Grumpig, Raichu. Why is everyone using a Grumpig? Jeez. Okay, so let's start out with... You, you, and... This time it's a bit Salamance in the back. So I won't start with him getting like ice punch from his grown pig or something. Yeah, I'll just start out with. There. I'll just start with Jolteon and Lapras instead of Jolteon and Houndoom. I think I don't really need a dark type for this. Yeah, I normally didn't use Houndoom as a fire type instead of dark type. You know, Crunch is just a useful move. Okay. No one need admit by that. Yeah. Okay, so what are you? I think this guy is either confusion again or he's paralyzed. Paralyzation. Paralyzation. Apparently this guy goes down pretty fast though. I got pretty sure I beat this guy pretty fast. Yeah. Okay, so Thunderbolt. I mean a little bit of a bite on Grump Pig and Ice Beam. I remember said Thunderbolt right there for no reason. Of course bite isn't gonna take down Grump Pig. It's like, what, a fifth of his HP? You know, Giga Drain, that's gonna be a pain to butt for Lapras. Yeah. Lapras is like a fourth. One, use a. Uh, you flinched, that's good, okay. And first turn, we have one of his Pokemon down, that's good. Oh, no, it was a critical hit too, wow. Critical capture! And the dog's barking again. Now the dog's barking, people can stop barking, of course I guess the other dog's barking. Yeah. Can you stop? Yep. I really don't want it. You know, be like, oh the dog's barking so much, you just delete the audio, man. I'm not gonna delete the audio of this video. I'm not gonna voice a half an hour long episode twice. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a critical failure. I'm not stopping yet. This okay, Thunderbolts and Hydro Pump. Hey, Thunderbolts. Stantler's down. Yay! Okay, what else? Took a dick. Okay, that's good. I'm not sure what this guy's status condition is. Like, yeah, I guess he's confusion again. And 
Pump, hydro pump. I'm just my nose is so stopped up. I can't pronounce anything better. Anything good? Oh my god! No. I think it's just, I'm just hungry. Need food. Yeah. Well, considering how long this episode is, I might as well stop while you for halfway through for a lunch break. <laughs> it's two, and I think I've eaten like what? Nothing. Hey, Toka Dick, you're halfway down. Yeah, so I beat this guy pretty fast. Of course, that means that round four is, of course, going to have a 10, you know, 15 minute long battle against round four. Yeah. Yeah, that's an old Salamance. Even this Noomberry. Yeah, of course, Toka Dick has leftovers. Hey, okay, Dragon Claw. Ice Beam. Okay. And come on, take him, take him out. Nope. Come on, a little harder, a little more umph. Yeah, ice beam, come on. And do and yay, he's finally down. Okay. And here comes the hardest fight. Round one was probably your second hardest. This one's gonna be your hardest. Yeah, not gonna be fun. Not fun at all. Okay, that's it. Final battle. Battle your toughest. Yeah, uh, man. Yes. You see, uh, this Lovrina. Lovrina. Hmm, that name sounds familiar. Oh, look, she has a Milotic. That sounds familiar. Hmm. Hmm. A Shuckle. What? Hmm. This sounds too familiar. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Pink? Why is there so much pink? Why is there blue? Pink and blue? Wait, Lorena, this sounds very familiar. What? Hmm. Yes, it is her. Third time we have to put this girl down. Yes. Yeah, all the bosses, uh, all the final rounds are bosses you fought before. I think there's like six rounds or something. It's all the key cipher admins and Robo, what's his face? Um, Robo Corbin, yeah. Or Sorbin, I don't know. <laughs> yes, here we go. Final fight. Lapras, uh, not Lapras, but no, I have Lapras. He has a Milotic. She has a Milotic and a Blessy. Oh my god. Oh, just kill me now. And of course, she's Confusion. And everyone knows Confusion Ray. And of course, Confusion Ray has like a trillion percent accuracy. Yeah. I hate Confusion Ray so much. And of course, my Lodic has like a trillion special defense. Yeah, I'm just glad this isn't Generation 4. It'll have flipping, you know, Aqua Ring. And then his HP's coming back up. It literally has two, you know, two leftovers. Yeah, but luckily, Blessy has leftovers, so not that bad. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure my Lodic has recover. So look for that. Ooh, yeah. Actually, I'll just grab the guide, which I saw, which is in arm's length. Now let's go flip through here. Do, 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 Coliseum, Normal Tower, Bar Coliseum. Yes, I have a guide. Never used it. Let's see, but, uh, it's toxic. It can be turn a track and warp. Crap, not warp. Warp Sabu for Mass Effect. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. Blessy has counter sing attract and seismic toss, shuckle toxic rest attract wrap, wapafet charm encore counter mirror coat stripes torment confusion attract protect magne meganium not meganium meganium whatever reganium yeah he's gonna be changed to M to R whatever it's a uh, lead C toxic attracts and protects you see. Lots of tracks, lots of toxics, and lots of confusions, and lots of, and I blessing those saying, so, yeah. Have fun being put to sleep and see. Let's put this a little more. So round two will be Snadal, and, uh, let's see, round three is Gorganian, and he has a Salman, so that was kind of scary. Round five, well, yeah, round four, not round five, round four will be, uh, Robo Gore Robo Groudon Shorbin. Sort of sounds like something out of anime. 
around five, be gone zap. Yeah, I didn't know he was in here. In round six is the red guy. Round seven is the blue guy. Yeah. Yeah. So round seven he has a Septime with Charizard. Round seven he has a Latios and Latias. And let me guess, we're both holding. Um, oh, no. Yeah, one's holding Seldu, right? Like, no, he doesn't. He also has a Metagross. Has a Quick Claw, so watch out for that. It's Metagross, Quick Claw, screws stuff up. Yeah. Yeah, so let's see. I'm down to three. Yep, three to four. Not looking good. I'm very. It's totally red stuff, so I don't have to commentate. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I didn't miss much. Okay, bless, he's finally down. Yay, three to three. Good odds. Not really. Mr. Viss. Yep. Mr. Viss likes to go um, attack, protect, attack, protect, attack, protect. Gets really annoying. And luckily for me, I had that Loom Berry, so they came in handy. Yep. Okay, Psychic. Eh, not too much damage. My god, shut up, dog! Okay, go on here, Come on, you. I was hoping he, um, my Lodic has lower defense. Yeah. Oh, Loomberry doesn't work in confusion. That's BS. <laughs> Honestly, just consider confusion a true status condition. Yeah. It's annoying as a status condition. I hate status conditions so much. Yeah. Like, it may burn and poison or so unbearable, but when we get down to, like, paralyzation, confusion, sleep, frozen. Infatuation is a little easier to cope with, but still, you know, pain the butt here. Of course, there's Torment. It's really annoying. Well, at least I have Dragon Claw and Eerie Lace. I also have Dragon Dance. Chop him that, even though I say all Dragon types don't need Dragon Dance. Several Terria. Terria needs a lot of work, though. Yeah, I'm slipping through here. Do -do 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 -do. Battle seems. Oh, there's a whole item thing right here. Hmm. Did not see this before. Yeah. I'm totally ignoring what's on screen right now. It's just toxic. Yeah, eat that. I have a loom berry. Yeah, eat that. Uh, did my loom berry activate or something? I don't know. Uh, I specifically... Gave you Lube Mary Salamance. Yeah, I guess I reactivated before. I wasn't paying attention because I was busy reading. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Level skill boosting items. Okay, there's really not a lot of items here. It's all your generic stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Moon's Hydro Pump level 58. Yeah, probably can't hear me because I might have the paper blocking my voice from the microphone. Yeah. Alright, just stick that in there. Okay. Yeah, that, that's what she said. Okay, come on, six more minutes, I can do this. Oh, man. If I'd wrap. Yeah, you see, wrap and. Toxic or really annoying, especially when she has her shuckle out. Shuckle, I'd say, is probably your biggest threat here. Okay, snap to fusion. That's good. Of course, you're in love. So he was poisoned, wrapped, and fused and infatuated all at the same time. Like, come on. Yeah, four status conditions. Well, wrap is sort of a status condition. Sort of, kind of. Yeah. I think trapped actually is. Yeah. Come on, no. My guns. Go away, my Lodic, please. I beg of the uh, Salamance is down. Um, oh, man. Two to three. Okay, Houndoom. Houndoom's good, okay. I can do this. 
Probably was good because Milo doesn't know any water moves. Yeah. Okay, crunch, mischievous. Yeah, let's take double team on my Lodic, I guess. Come on, it's up to you, Lapras. This move has to hit. <laughs> She's confused, right? Yeah. Okay, my Lodic's finally down, and I love its fainting animation because it's like twisting around. It's like, no, I refuse to die. Rawr. You know, it's like, yes, the, the battle's finally over. It's like a one of those giant bosses from back in the day when you, know, you finally killed them, and they're always, you know, screaming, running around. They're like, no, I shall not die. Rawr. Of course, yeah, I'm gonna team up on Mischievous now because they actually can do something. You know, of course, protect. Protect. Ugh. I'm pretty sure Salamence is also tormented, yeah. Size uh, beam. Crunch. Torment. Fused. Pick a fusion. Come on. Come on, Hydro Pump. Or Ice Beam. Yes, Ice Beam. Never mind. Use Hydro Pump last turn. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Oh! Yeah, I'm just using counter. These are useless. Okay. Hide from crunch. Come on. Of course. This. Come on, I got three minutes. Come on. Okay, hydro pump. Nope. Mirror coat. Nope. Yeah, we all did nothing that turn. <laughs> okay, come on. Uh, confused. Yes! Finally! Okay. And now it's now, now we're down to 2 to 1. Though Wobbuffet, we all know, is like a one man army. Yeah, Wobbuffet's. Wobbuffet's scary. He had to, to tiptoe around Wobbuffet. Luckily, he does no test Destiny Bond. Richard Destiny Bomb's illegal though, but. It's a Destiny Bomb, no, it's Destiny Bond. The Richard Red's illegal though. Yeah, there's Mirror Coats, so I need to tiptoe one round Wapafet. I'm a Hydro Pump and a. Yeah, let's have a little charm. Uh, all I'm going to hit with boosts are going to be super effective. Yeah. Could use Roar, but the charm actually looks like it's doing something, even though Wobbuffet be using Mirror Coat. Okay, use Counter, good. Yeah. Nice Beam Crunch. Finally. Okay. Okay, Crunch, come on, no! Come on, down to, down to, you, down to you, Lapras. Down to you, down to you. I did the little bit of that thing because it wasn't saying down to you, right? Okay, oh my god. <laughs> Never, ever, ever doing that again. Yep. There, we beat the first round of Ori Coliseum. So we can unlock the post game story. Beat that. Go beat Mound Battle. I am done with this game after that. I know it's a good game. You go buy it. You go play it. You follow this Let's Play. You play it wrong with it. You do play it along with it. Not play it wrong with it. Play it along with it. Uh, yep. Uh, email from the uh, old lady's wife. Old man's wife down there. I can't remember his name. This guy. Old man Ash, I'll call him. Yeah. Egan. Even though he has a special prize for us. And we got a new prize. New title called Lorena Fair Club no Ember Number One. Yes. Now part of her fan club, apparently. And, uh, yeah, she gave us a letter. Okay, so, yeah, I made my day. We got Team 06. Yeah, let's see what Team 06 is. Yeah. Items. Team 06. It's toxic, of course. 
Anyway, see you guys next time. Post game story. Finally, been a hundred trillion episodes too long. See you guys next time.